This is a video about the invasion of Sadar, New Guinea. This is the temporary mock-up of the front cover of my new book. It is coming soon. It's called Dad's War Photos, Adventures in the South Pacific. It's based on the 800 pictures my father took in World War II. For more information and to be notified when the book is published, sign up at dadswarphotos.com. Hey, Facebook fans, why don't you like our page at facebook.com forward slash Dad's War Photos for exclusive content. This is the island of New Guinea. The Japanese had control of the northern part, all of this part of New Guinea, up to about right here. Plus they had control of New Britain Island and all of the islands in the area uh, in, in this area. Here's another shot. This is where they are at Oro Bay and they're getting ready to uh, move to another location and they're going this way by sea to Sador which is in enemy territory. Rabal right here is a huge Japanese military base MacArthur had the idea of, uh, instead of directly attacking Rabaul and causing extra U.S. and Allied casualties, they were just blockaded. And that was called Operation Cartwheel. So they wanted to make a circle around Rabaul to starve out uh, the enemy uh, with uh, lack of supplies and lack of reinforcements. This is an LCA called a landing craft assault belonging to the Royal Australian Navy. Notice the initials RAN in the front and the Australian flag in the rear. This boat was used in the invasion to land Aussie troops. Do you see the second man? The campsite that my father's battalion uh, was given, these weeds had to be cut before they could function properly. But when you have over 700 enlisted men in a battalion, this is how it comes out. The campsite cleaned up pretty nice. And here is their beach campsite. They're unpacking crates so they can have their supplies. This is some of the heavy equipment that they used. This is what is called an H-10 Bailey Bridge. H-10 means that the bridge can hold 10 tons of weight. So you could have vehicles weighing less than 10 tons that could traverse this bridge. Company B of my father's 863rd Engineer Aviation Battalion, that's these people here on the bridge, they're the ones who built it. The side railings and the decking still need to be installed. This bridge and its abutments, which is what this is, you have an abutment on this side and you also have one right here. This keeps the earth and rock and all that inside of this, uh, these logs. And so uh, we about to have a flood here. The Nankina River is peaceful and calm right now. But there was 24 inches of rain that fell in two weeks and produced muddy conditions. This bulldozer is pulling this truck out of the mud. So after 24 inches of rain in two weeks, the Nankina River is now a raging bridge-destroying torrent. 
and it destroyed an Australian bridge and it destroyed the abutments of one of uh, another engineering battalion's bridge nearby. Mm -hmm.